Hi, this is Wrestling Dr. Hal Lee here for Pro Wrestling Extra. I'm here with the Dark City Fight Club, the current USWA Tag Team Champions, and the NWA Tag Team Champions. John Davis, Cor Chavis, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I've got some questions I'd like to ask you guys. Number one, your styles are so different. John, your power, Cor, your power too, but you got some really smarts in the ring. I enjoy the way you take over people. Thank you, thank you. What I'd like to do is, how'd you guys get together? Um, well, oddly enough, we, we met each other at Dory School a few years before we actually started teaming. We always got along, we always kind of clicked and hit it off or whatever. Um, we were backstage at a Pro Wrestling Mariah show, and we were from, uh, approached by Sal. Um, and he runs Bull Impact Pro and Evolve and helps the Dragon Gate and things of that nature. And he's like, hey, we're thinking about teaming you guys up. Um, do you have matching gear? And Corey was wearing a t-shirt and basketball shorts. I was wearing a t-shirt and basketball shorts. I pulled the top of my shorts down, had on blue, pulled the shirt up, had on blue, like, yeah. And then we started like two weeks later. This yeah. is the Dark City Fight Club. Yeah. Came, good. came up with the name in like 15 seconds on the phone. Where, where did the name come from? Y'all got together and just worked it out? It was legitimate, like, hey, what do you think? And there yeah. it went. Yeah. I tell you, it's one of the most recognized tag team names in the business today. That's right. Uh, Corey, let me ask you a question here. Yes. You were trained by Murder One yes. and New Jack. Yes. Now, I have seen a lot of wrestling schools. Some of them are really tough. Right. You think John mentioned uh, Dory Funk's Funkin' Conservatory, tough school to be in. What was it like to be with Murder One and New Jack in training? It, 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 it was total hell. Like, um, you know, when, when we had to run through our drills and, you know, when we had to... Um, you know, run run through our core exercises and all that. I mean, it was it was a totally different experience than um, other schools I've noticed. Um, this school, I mean, if if you miss one, you got to start everything all over again. Um, you miss one thing, New Jack's probably gonna close on your face off. You know, I've left my face in the ring many a times from a New Jack clothesline. Um, they're 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 tough trainers, but the thing about it is. I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, it, it got my body ready for 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 all the the bumps and the falls. It got my face ready for the punches. It got my neck ready for the clotheslines. Um, you know, I, I I think that's the best way to train. You you train you train like you go. And you know, we we went hard in training class, Absolutely. and that's that's the best that's the best possible way to train, in my opinion. Hey, John, you were trained right here in North Florida at the CCW training camp. Uh, how was your camp? Well, um, it was it, it was different. Um, Rock and Roll Chris Turner and Wayne Daniels or Sean Starr, whatever you want to call them, uh, they kind of ran the, the school, you know. And Chris would get in with us a little bit, Sean would get in with us a little bit, but we were kind of given uh, kind of given free reign to push ourselves, if you will. Like they would say, okay, well, we want you guys to do drills, and so they would tell us the drills or whatever, and then we would keep working out. Like you know, it kind of became a thing between us. Okay, well, we got to do uh, 500 hitmans before we get in the ring, or take any bumps or anything like that, or we got to do this many push-ups, or we got to do this many corner rolls, or we got to do this or this or this or this. So we just kept up in the end of the any. And the main four guys, me, Blaine Rage, Kevin Cantrell, and Lance Alante, Cantrell had been around for a little while, but like we just kept pushing each other, pushing each other. And then the students would try to come in and keep up with us, and then they would leave, and we wouldn't see them again. Very few people made it for a long, sustained period of time. A lot of guys would come and train and we weren't there because of just how hard we pushed each other. And we were always in there. It was a, a building with an aluminum top on it, 150 degrees in the shade, and just pushed and just kept going from there. So how did you make it down to Dory Funk Jr.'s Funkin' Conservatory? Um, oddly enough, I was working for Jody Peterman. He was running World One, and he was called Spine Buster Wrestling for a little while, too. And um, that's actually where I first met Corey. And, uh, I walked in the locker room and saw Dory sitting there, and I walk over to him. I'm like, how you doing, sir? My name's John. It's an honor to meet you. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, this man won his first title 10 years before I was born, you know. And then uh, Peterman walks over. He goes, oh, you guys have met. You're on semi-main. Wait, wait a minute. Dory's like 65 years old at the time. And then he beat my ass for about 15 minutes. And 
after that, he's like, yeah, I like it. Come, come down to the school. Just come in and work out with us. You know, glad to have you. There I was. Yeah, all right. Great, guys. Let me ask you about your finishing move. I haven't seen anybody kick out of it. I don't expect anybody to kick out of it. Y'all call it Project Mayhem. Yep. All right, and it's a... Powerbomb neckbreaker. A powerbomb neckbreaker. Mm -hmm. The sickest one you'll ever see. I've seen it. It is. Now, uh, can you name, just for me, yeah. some of the top tag teams that you have faced, or that you want to face, or that you don't want to face? Um... I think the top tag team that we've probably faced since we've been together as a team is the Briscoe Brothers. I mean... Toughest. The toughest. Yeah, they... Those guys... <laughs> I mean, th there's not a lot of tag teams that can, you know, look me and John face to face and be able to match the, the power and the speed that we have, but that's probably that one tag team that can do that. Um, but We've also been lucky enough, I mean... When you say top tag teams, it kind of depends on what you look at as top tag teams. Right. We've been right. in the ring with the Kings of Wrestling. We wrestled successfully against Billy Gunn and X Pac. Yeah. Defeated them. Yeah. Um, the Headbangers yeah. surprised the crap out of us. Yeah. We were not expecting them yeah. to go as hard as they did. You know, so it really just kind of depends. But I mean, like I said, well, Corey, I, I'll agree. I think it's the Briscoes overall, the toughest and yeah. hardest to keep down. Now we, we've we've been in we've been in some we've been in the ring with some good up and coming tag teams also. Um, I think I think the Hate Junkies is a team that you know people should look out for. Um, like you said, the Kings of Rap. I mean, there there there's so much there's so many tag teams that we've been in the ring with. Um, Los Bendejos. Los Bendejos. And that was only like a triple threat match. We haven't even been in a one on one match with them or a two on two match with them. But it's yeah. just their their energy and their speed in the ring is. Yeah. Right. Los Bendejos. Now they're out of 3D Academy. Yes. Uh, I've seen them. They are one of the better smaller tag teams. Quick. Yep. and very agile, so that would be a good mix between you guys. Absolutely. Now I'm going to bring up something that's on the internet right now. I don't want to surprise you or cause any problems, but I've seen a tag team post some things, and I've seen some things said that they've been trying to call you guys out a little bit. Now, I don't know if you're going to answer them. I don't know if you're going to ignore them or what, but I think we all know what they're trying to do. Yeah, I don't know if you want me to say their name or if that would bother you or it would. Say their name's Ball Means. It's the, uh, the Red Army team has decided that, uh, that I, personally, I think they're just trying to get the rub off you guys. What well, do you think about it? it? Here's, here's the thing. Uh, there are a lot of teams who think that they can be world champions. There are a lot of teams who think that they can carry the world. There are a lot of teams who think that they are better than they actually are. The problem is they're not. Red Devil Fight Team, you know, they're they're okay. Um, me and Corey haven't responded for one simple reason, and that's they're not on our level. It's really, really easy to sit at home behind your computer and make up a couple little cute pictures. It's really, really easy to get your friend to record you cutting a promo on how we're weak and how we're this and how we're that. It's, it's really easy to make yourself look good from home. The problem is you got to get in the ring. Like, I'm sorry. But, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but this, this is... Listen. Don't think just because we haven't responded that we haven't heard what they said my problem is this, okay? Since 2008, me and John have done everything we can to keep our names and faces in, in everybody's in everybody's heads. They haven't. Me and John have beaten everybody that have been put in, put in front of us. Everybody. Any team that you see in the past, oh, blah blah blah. You know, Team A going against Dark City Fight Club. We beat them. They haven't beaten anyone yet, okay? They can't beat anyone. So their next best thing to do to get under our skin is to take the Twitter and take the Facebook and say, you know, Dark City Fight Club or this or that or that. Listen, until you become relevant, until you beat a contender tag team, 
keep our names out of your mouth because that's just going to make it personal. And if you make it personal with the Dark City Fight Club, that's the biggest mistake you make in your life. I can promise you that. All right, thanks, guys. That's the Wrestling Doctor here for Pro Wrestling Extra with the Dark City Fight Club. Thanks.